My old pa used to say, we're all born lucky, we just don't realise it. Well, I was fortunate enough to have a little bit of a look last week with this little beauty. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that story shortly, but I just want to tell you a little bit about this boat. It was made by a company called Harold Flory Patents Limited. It dates from the 1950s and is quite a big boat. It's 17 inches long, it's electric and it's got two speeds um, which you alter here. It's got um, a stop, a slow speed and a fast speed. Absolutely beautiful thing this and in the 1950s if you turned up to your local village boating pond with this you'd have been the envy of the village I'll tell you. Uh, so why was I lucky? Why was, why was I lucky then with this? Well I bought this last week off of eBay and it was advertised as missing its flag which fits in there uh, and missing its propeller and rudder I'm not sure if you can see that at the bottom so no one bid on it apart from me and I won this boat for four pounds ninety nine uh, which is I don't know what's that for our American friends about two dollars two and a half dollars so for a 1950s boat an absolute bargain it's called a Swift and it is in fact a speedboat uh, it was sold in stores like Gamages uh, which was in London and, and I think it was top at range boat this it, it used to sell for uh, just one minute I'll have a look it sold for 29 shillings and 11 pence just checking my reference books there. Uh, so as you can see, quite uh, a luxurious toy of the time. Uh, anyway, um, I digress. Just give me one second while I take this hull off. Right, that's it. Right. The reason this was advertised as having no, no, um, no rudder, no flag. Uh, no propeller well the owner just didn't realize that these was actually stored under the deck so when you remove the deck you would see a brown envelope which was unopened and I've until I got my grubby little hands on it uh, and inside this is the flag the rudder and the propel propeller and the boat, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's actually pressed aluminium, so very lightweight but very rigid and very very solid as well. This looks as good as it did the day it left the factory, absolutely brand spanking new, never been in the water. It's your electric motor there and these are where your batteries would go. Now what's special about this little boat is in here. Right, your little flag's in there, I'll leave that in there. The rudder and the propeller came in, um, it's like a small cassette type thing. It's geared uh, and it all used to assemble together. So you'd slot your, your propeller in there and this pushes on there uh, like so uh, so quite an ingenious design this would not be able to pull out because of the steel pin on there it, it locks inside there you can't really see from this image um, so nobody bid on this boat because it's virtually impossible you'd never find these spare parts so it went for, like I say, £4.99, uh, you know, just a couple of dollars for uh, for a beautiful toy like this. 
and I'm so happy with it. Absolutely pristine condition. Beautiful little thing. Uh, these, the paintwork on these is uh, is a stoved enamel, so y you know it it's well protected. You're not going to get no corrosion uh, or anything like that. As long as you look after this boat, it lasts you lasts your lifetime. But to actually find one of these, it's it's getting on for seventy years old, and to find it for such a small price, just because the owner didn't know that the um, you know the rudder and the flag was stored inside the deck so nobody bid on it absolutely amazing uh, but yeah in the, in the 1950s what a toy what a toy to turn up to your village your village pond with this absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful boat so I, I thought I'd share that with you guys because Sometimes it's just worth having a having a gamble and trying to trying to bid on things because you just never know. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys have found this interesting. Um, if you have, if you want any more of these videos on on boats and and different things, just hit that like button. Uh, you can maybe favourite it just so I can get some feedback that uh, that people want to watch these. I mean, it's an old boat. Uh, I doubt I doubt very much whether there's another one of these on on YouTube. Uh, and if anybody's got one in the attic, and they do a search for this, at least they'll know a bit of information about it, and they may know that the parts are stored in the deck. So, like I say, if, uh, if you want any more videos, guys, just hit that like button or that favourite, and if you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting. And uh, thank you very much for, for watching.